The action during London 2012 will extend beyond the sporting venues. Aspert's, Britain's newest and largest casino, is located just outside a major entrance to Olympic Park. General Manager Richard Smith is anticipating some sizable crowds. There's no precedence. I've got no experience uh, in terms of what to expect. You know, we hear these huge numbers of people that are going to be uh, visiting uh, Stratford, and you know, we can only have 1,600 people uh, in the business at any one time. It's not just table games and slot machines that'll generate betting action, though. Aspers, like other bookmakers online and on the street, will offer odds on who'll win medals and what countries will scoop the most and even what might go wrong. Graham Sharp, spokesman for the William Hill chain, says the Olympics are always interesting, but it's hard to say exactly how things will play out taking place on the company doorstep. People we would expect to be interested in domestic performers, but there'll be an awful lot of people from overseas coming to this country for the Olympics who may be experiencing the opportunity to have a bet on a sporting contest for the first time ever. Those monitoring the downside of betting, meanwhile, are hoping to use the occasion, gathering evidence to determine whether big sporting events act as a trigger for gambling addicts. If we have surges between now and the Olympics, we will have an opportunity of finding out whether people were in some way trying to protect themselves. Whether or not there's an Olympic spike, there's no doubt gambling in Britain is big business. A survey two years ago commissioned by the Ladbrokes chain found it was worth £6 billion, some $9 billion, to the country's economy. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.